Hi guys, and for those of you who are uh, still with us, welcome to lesson 13 of my series of tutorials on programming in the basic programming language. This one is covering arrays, and for a more in-depth uh, example and explanations, uh, visit the website. I'll put the link in the description here, so for those of you who come across this on YouTube, you can visit the website and uh, see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it and what it does, the, the program. I would recommend that you go through from uh, lesson one right the way up. Um, they are designed that way and they're designed for people with absolutely no programming experience at all. These are just very simple programs just to show you the concept of programming so that you can knuckle down, write your own programs eventually. And basically in any language, it's just showing you the logic as to how these uh, programs are put together. Okay, so what we've got here is the program from lesson 13 which is just a very, very brief introduction to arrays. Um, I say the, um, the explanation is on the website, so if you want to know more about that, then please look into them. But just one or two points that I wanted to go through with you on here that I didn't mention um, or didn't expand on on my tutorial on the website is this instruction here where we're doing a very simple error check and I know we've covered error checks before in previous lessons but I just wanted to go through this because we're using boolean logic here with the ors in there so what we're saying here um, we're inputting the the uh, branch number that we want we can only have a branch from one to six because we've only got six branches in this example for our company so what we're saying is um, if the number in B is less than one obviously we can't have a, a branch zero or branch negative one or whatever or if the number in B is greater than six because obviously the highest branch number we've got is six so we don't want any of those conditions or now this is the bit that I'm trying to explain to you the number in B is not equal that's what not equal is that those two arrows there that means it's not equal to the integer part of B so in other words if we had B was 1.4 then b would not be equal to the integer part of b because the integer part of b would be 1 and b would actually be equal to 1.4 so 1.4 does not equal 1 therefore it would fail and go to line 100 i'll just run that through you again if someone typed in 1.4 then b is equal to 1.4 but it's not equal to the integral part of 1.4, which is 1, because it's, there's no decimal places in the, in the integer, integer part. So therefore, 1.4 is not equal to 1. So it would then go to line 100 and print out, sorry, invalid branch number, try again. Okay, I know a bit of a mouthful to try and explain, but I thought it was a little bit easier to try and explain to it on video for you than uh, trying to write it down in text. But uh, there we go, I've, I've done my best on the text for you. Okay, so what we're going to do now then is just test this program out to show you how it runs. And that's about it. It's just a quick, short, simple program, this one. You can uh, play about with it to your own ends and modify it and do what you want with it. But uh, for now, let's just, let's just see it run, okay? So... It's asking us for a branch number, so we'll we'll put in branch number three. And it's come up that branch number three is New York. Well, if we look at the program, we can see that, yes, it is the third place along New York. OK, so that's branch number three. So we'll try another one. And this time we'll, we'll, we will put branch five in. And branch five, it's saying, is Sydney. OK, so we'll just check that one. And there's branch one, branch two, branch three, branch four, branch five is certainly Sydney. Okay, now to just do a rather run on the error checks to make sure that's working okay. So we want the number between one and uh, six, so let's put zero. Ah, sorry, invalid branch number, try again. So as you can see, the error checking routine, although it's simple, it is working. So let's try negative one. And again, it's not going to accept it. It's less than one. Okay, so let's try seven. We haven't got a branch seven, so we should get an error with that because that's larger than six. And again, sorry, invalid branch number, try again. 
Okay, so let's try branch number 3.5. Obviously, we don't have a branch 3.5. So again, just to check that that b is not equal to the integral part of b should activate this one and give us an error message, which, as you can see, it has. Sorry, invalid branch number. Try again. Okay, so we'll finish off with branch 6. And as you can see, Hong Kong is the branch. And there we go. That's the program as it's laid out for you on the uh, site. Okay, well, that's about it, I think, for this one, guys. It's just a short one, as I said to you. Um, I'll be making more of these videos in the future, though. Uh, some more tutorials for you to, uh, to try your hand at programming. Uh, so if you like them, please rate them and favourite them. Add them to your favourites. And please subscribe to our channel. Also, please have a look at our website. We've got lots and lots and lots of useful hints, tips and tutorials for you on there. Not just covering computers, but com covering all sorts of stuff. Again, I'll put the link in the description for you. I think that's all for now, guys, though. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Bye for now.